welcome to my channel. I am here with a project for the Loaded On The Loads Galore and More Facebook group. It is for an upcoming Memory Dex card swap. As you can see, I used a hot air balloon file from the Silhouette store. And I do have a tutorial following the this portion here. And I used the Mente's Lovely Day paper as well as some flowers from Hobby Lobby, I think Michael's, and Wild Orchid Crafts. And I know the leaves here are from Wild Orchid Crafts, as well as these little sweetheart blossoms. I love these. This is the regular size, and that's the miniature size. And that flower there I made myself, and I used a fowl from the Silhouette store. The gold design here and here came in the fowl. And then it did have some, uh, like, striping or trim pieces here but they I wanted them to go from the top all the way to the bottom so I just cut them with my paper trimmer and put those on the edges there and then the lace that I have used are some little scrap pieces that I had in my design team package where I've made other projects and have little pieces left over so I use those here I cut this piece in half and put half here and half down here and I will link Natasha's store as well and I used some little leaves that I had left over as well here. And then that's what the back looks like. I'm probably going to put another piece over that just to make it look a little bit neater. But I was really happy with how it came out. And I hope that you will try to make one as well. And make sure to let me know. And stay tuned for the tutorial. So this is my Silhouette um, Studio Business Edition screen, and I have imported the Hot Air Balloon SVG file. We are only going to use five of the pieces that have the score lines and only three of these tan ones because there are six if you're making a full hot air balloon that goes all the way around, and we're only doing half. So five and then only three of these for the decorative. These are the overlay pieces for these right here. And the first thing I did was I resized this to where the hot air balloon pieces were approximately four inches. And how I do that is I just kind of eyeball each one of the squares are one inch. So one, two, three, here's the four inch mark. So I have a little ways to go. So we'll just bring it down here. So one, two, three, four, maybe just a tiny little bit smaller. Okay, and there we go. So now everything, we have resized it um, so it will be in proportion. And I want to slide it over here to the left. And I'm going to ungroup this and move in my Memory Dex card base. I picked this. It was a free SVG file from Pinterest. I've had it for a long time and I'm not sure where I received it, but if you just look on Pinterest, there should be a free SVG file. <clears throat> and I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And in Silhouette, instead of slicing and making this shorter, you just double click and it shows all of the points that make up the shape. So I'm just going to click on that one and then come over here and hit delete to get it where I want it. And that looks, I'm just going to bring this side up a little bit and that makes it a little bit shorter. So we'll come over here and hit the basket piece. And what I did to make my base to glue the balloon to was I, and you can do this in Cricut as well, the same way. In Silhouette, to make a square, you just go over to the left. And I want to come over here and line this up, the little crosshair, with the score marks and make a square and it doesn't have to be perfect but um, you know get it as close as you can that's all that matters it'll still look great and I made a square for the window as well so now I want to move the basket piece out of the way I'm going to take the larger square and I'm just going to overlap it a little bit I'm going to um, group both of these together and I want to center the square to the memory decks. So that brought them together. And while they are grouped together, I want to weld these. And once again, it's the, 
would be the same in Cricut, except for this, they call it subtract versus slice. So I'm going to bring this over, move this to the back. So it takes a little bit of time to just playing around with everything. So I'm just going to eyeball where I think that would be. And that looks like it is lined up and put this there. And what I will do is I will center again for the window. And that moved it over and then I will select modify and then I want to subtract. And then it puts the window in there. So that's how you do it um, in the Silhouette program. If you were doing this in Cricut, instead of subtract, it would be slice, or you could just put a square and attach it, and then it would still have the cut line. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section down below. Thank you. First thing I want to do is I'm going to glue these four pieces together. Okay, so I've got those four pieces glued together. I'm going to put the hot air balloon together. And so I folded these pieces over as well as these. And you'll also need this piece because we'll need to glue the hot air balloon pieces to this as well. So I'll just go ahead and do three of these. start with this. We just want to make sure all of the score lines line up. Okay, and put a little bit of glue on the first one here. You can see my score lines right here line up. You can see that they line up really nice. And go underneath. I'm going to glue a few of them and then just kind of do one at a time making sure that everything lines up and curve it. Okay, make sure my glue grabs. I'm just making sure it makes a nice seam. Okay. And make sure to pinch. Squeeze it between my fingers to make sure it grabs. So we will add the other piece doing the same thing. That's that part of the balloon. And what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm just going to fold it in half. Like so. And that'll give us a tab at the top so we can glue it to the piece to cover up the back. So I'm going to just put a little dot here on the very front piece. And make sure I get it lined up. Do the same thing on the sides. Just pull it out to where it needs to be. See that folds back like that. And then what I want to do 
on this side is we'll need to glue this in so we will have tabs so we can glue it back. So I'm just going to trim part of this off in the bottom, the very bottom piece. So I'll go like this just so it doesn't, I don't need the top tab. So, whoops, we're just going to glue it so our tabs catch on the outside here, like so. And just set it into place and I'm just making sure it comes up to the score lines for the side tabs. And I noticed in my prototype, the side that I put the extra piece on, it just made a better shape. So what we'll do with this one is we'll cut the piece off that has the tabs, because we don't need them since we already have them, and cut this bottom piece off like we did on the other side, and that top piece off. And this will just brace it so it'll be sturdier um, when we glue it to the back piece. I'm going to make sure it was going to fit. Just cover this with glue and then we'll put it the inside. Just make sure you get it past where these tabs will fold back. So we're going to take this and lay it on top of this and glue it down and as we're gluing the tabs down we just want to make sure that it looks even. Get it down here so I can see. And what I'll do is I'll glue this top piece down first and I'm just going to hold it down to make sure it really gets a good, it adheres really well. And then we'll do our tabs. and do them all. And I'm just going to make sure it looks even. But it helps where we put the brace pieces, the extra pieces on the side. Then when you push down it, it adheres, it's adhering a lot better than the first one I did because it's more sturdy. So it looks more even. I'm just going to hold that there for just a little bit and let it dry. I'll try to reach up in here with this one bone folder. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to hold it. Like I said, where we reinforce these sides, it's really making a big difference. And I can tell my hot air balloon is um, evenly um, rounded and now we'll just take some scissors and we will just cut around this and now I'm just going to cut this straight across to the other side there we go and fold these down and then you can see we need to trim these tabs sure it's all holding together. You just trim right here just a little bit. Always go back and trim the little pieces off. Get this out of the way. So that's the hardest part is the balloon. And we'll do this piece here and it just attaches to the bottom of the balloon right here. So what I'm going to do is we'll just fold this over, fold it in half. And then we can glue this tab right here. I 
I am just going to go ahead and cut this across. I remember now I think I cut it across. <laughs> it's been a few days since I made my prototype and been busy and I haven't had a chance to get the video made. Then we will just do this one here. We'll tuck it, fold it on the score line and tuck it over like so. this one and we can cut we have these two left and we can cut this very last tab off and this tab off so we will glue here and then in here and we'll fold it over it'll tuck up underneath and then on the back we'll take the bone folder just making sure I get any air bubbles out so there's this piece we're going to attach it to the bottom of our balloon let's see here I'm trying to decide how I want to do it I think I'll do it this way so we'll fold these two down putting glue and then go ahead and glue these pieces And this sits here. You just want to center it on there, make sure it fits nicely. So take this main folder and just curve these so it'll go on better. And then the very end, I did curl up. And this is the one I want in the middle. Put, there. Put glue on this. Make sure it's lined up with this seam. And between the Put glue on this. And I'm going to glue the other two decorative panels down and I will be back. So I've got my hot air, the balloon portion covered, and this will form our basket. And we're going to take this piece and fold it in half since we don't need the full basket. The tape paper is really thick, which is a good thing. I like it. It just was hard to get um, folded over. So I just want to fold the pieces and score them. Too much. Oh. There we go. Took too much, too much on, and took too much off. I'm just gluing that on the inside, and then this piece will be look here on my prototype and see how I did that. And what I did was I cut the little tab off here and then just glued, whoops, I need to do this other one tab on each side first, sorry. Fold this over on that back piece. And we'll trim the tabs off here. Make sure to get all the tab. There we go. Push that back down in there again. It's not creased. Very well. There. Okay, and then my basket is that kind of shape. I can't think of what, <laughs> I cannot remember all my geometry um, shapes. So I'm going to trim this edge off over the score line and we will glue 
here and up through here. And then what I did is I trimmed off this piece in the middle because I just wanted my basket to have the four corners. And then this is pretty snug. I have to kind of squeeze it a little bit to get it in. And then once you get it in, you can shape it back out there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that in there before I adhere it to our base. And there's the hot air balloon. Make sure that's easy. And I just want to make sure this lines up on it. Put the back here. That looks good. There we have our 3D hot air balloon memory decks card. So I can't wait to see your creations. Make sure to share them with us. And thanks for watching.